For the first time since a 16 year old Bishop Lynch high school student died from the flu, her family is sharing their story in hopes it helps other families. The teenager's death in January was sudden and as in many cases involving someone who is young and healthy, it was not at all expected. Fox 4's David Centendry talked with her parents. David. Yeah, Reese Termulo had no pre-existing conditions, Steve. Um, she was diagnosed with the flu, died 24 hours later. Her father, who was also a doctor here in town, was waiting for the official autopsy results to come back before doing any sort of public interviews. Now that those results are in, they are speaking out to raise awareness and to talk about their faith. Dr. Caesar Termulo always dreamed his daughter would, like him, attend the University of Notre Dame. Um, I'm not going to be able to experience that with her. But the 16 year old's life was cut short by a virus her father commonly sees. She was just acting like any other teenager with the flu. Reese Termulo, a student at Bishop Lynch High School, left school with a 102 degree fever on January 9th. Just regular, typical flu that I see every single day. The next morning, Reese's father, a pediatrician with Parkland Hospital, says she no longer had a fever, but a few hours later, her mother, while bringing homemade soup to her room, found her unconscious. She called 911, and then she called her husband. A thought crossed my mind that had never crossed my mind ever before, and it's the thought that my daughter could die. Reese did die that day. Family now has autopsy results revealing flu B Victoria, a strain not included in the flu shot Reese had, as well as strep pneumonia. The rare combination caused the child's organs to fail. So literally it was a one in a million chance of happening and it happened to my daughter and it happened to me. Losing a child during a pandemic has given the family time to think of Reese's impact. I'm just grateful that um, I'm very grateful that we had so many good times together. She was on Bishop Lynch's dance and drill team and was known for always being comfortable in her own skin. You long to hug her. They say there's a fine balance between facing the pain and finding distractions, but that the Catholic community of Dallas has been there with every step of grieving. Our mission as a spouse is to bring each other to heaven. Our mission as parents is to bring our children to heaven. They say Reese never let go of her faith. She was praying the morning she passed away. I believe that she's in heaven. Notre Dame doesn't compare to heaven. For now, they want to spread their message of faith, love, and awareness. <clears throat> We're not moving on without her. We're just moving forward. And we know that she's with us. Reese also leaves behind two younger brothers, a 13 year old and an 11 year old. Her father, the doctor says, make no question, he's still a firm believer in the flu shot and that it can save lives. Now all this happening during the pandemic, he says the struggle next flu season is when people come to see him as a doctor, just distinguishing, are these symptoms flu? Are they COVID? He says if it's up to him, he's going to push to test for both.